Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some of the most dangerous bugs in the world. Bugs honestly terrify me, so I'm not excited for this video. Number 10, Bullet Ant. The name says it all. The sting from a bullet ant is compared to being shot at. Not that it's an experience many are familiar with, but you get the picture. So you're telling me that ant can basically put you for a load of pain? I live in Northern Ireland, so we don't have a lot of these bugs. I'm telling you right now, it's probably going to be somewhere in Europe or Australia. Them countries always have deadly insects. The ant attacks the central nerve nervous system and goes through the entire body makes you feel a great deal of pain. The venom on the ant is however not lethal. The effects don't last for a long time, you however shake violently, sweat and your heart races. So basically they don't kill you but they nearly do. That's so scary, like imagine if you get like bit by one of them and then you start shaking and like sweating and feeling sick. That's so crazy that an insect so small can cause so much pain. These are among the largest of the ant species and grow to about an inch long. They're mostly found in the Amazon forest. An Amazonian and tried uses them for some ceremonies where they place them on the hands and they render numerous bites. It's said that once the venom subsides, one has a huge blast of adrenaline. Wait, is Amazon forest in Brazil? I think it is. I'm so bad whenever it comes to geography, so let me look it up one second. Okay, just looked it up and it is indeed in Brazil. Number nine, giant hornets. These deadly bugs are said to go on killing sprees whereby they target children and farm workers. You're telling me giant hornets like them things literally go and target people? What children and people are dying? from these things i've never heard of it before i think i've heard of killer bees but not giant hornets there's so many insects i'm getting sketched out in 2013 about 43 people were killed while over a thousand were injured in shangxi china after the incident they sprayed the entire city combing out giant hornet nests it happened in china of course it did what is up with the chinese and having all of these weird viruses and insects and like animals why did they have a giant hornet were they trying to do like test experiments on it that would have be a really good way of wiping out half the world just release loads of hornets everywhere bugs inject venom into the body the venom kills red blood cells and leads to kidney failure anaphylactic shock or even death that's so scary that an insect that small can do that like it can really do some damage i think i've only gotten stung by a bee once i'm not sure if it was a bee or a wasp it was one of them too but it was quite scary it happened in school i was fine of course but like it was just terrifying like you literally think you're gonna die for one worker it was such a gruesome experience when dozens of hornets landed on her legs and head and she could not move. Eventually she needed 13 dialysis treatments and 200 stitches. These bugs are the size of a thumb and have a black tooth that they use to sever the heads of their victims. Them things really are evil aren't they? It's almost like something you'd find in Star Wars. Okay so look at your thumb right now and that is the size of a giant hornet. They are quite big aren't they? They're literally the size of slugs. I already have fears of going outside and this is going to make me even more scared. I shouldn't be scared though because literally none of these animals exist in Northern Ireland. Ireland. I feel like you guys should be more scared than me. Number eight, fleas. These may seem like common pests, but don't be deceived. Once they get into your home, they can cause complete havoc. They can jump eight inches, that's 150 times their height, meaning that moving around is not a hassle. I knew what fleas were, but I didn't realize that they could jump. That is so scary. How big are they? I'm pretty sure they're quite small, but they can literally jump up. That is terrifying. They're like deadly grasshoppers. Why did I not know this? That kind of jumping is crazy though. It's like a human jumping the length of three football fields. They don't cause severe harm to humans. The intense itching, however, could lead to infection. Fleas are most likely to cause an allergic reaction in pets and anemia from blood loss. That makes me really sad because I swear it's really common for pets to get fleas. Are fleas and ticks the same thing? I don't think ticks jump. They just like attach to the dog and suck the blood. I remember once I found a tick in my dog and it was terrifying. Like I literally thought my dog was going to die. Their lifespan is 100 days and in a month, 25 fleas fleas can multiply to up to a quarter of a million. Oh my god, they do multiply it's like coronavirus. You start off with one and it multiplies in hundreds of millions. That's genuinely terrifying. Like, imagine if you infected somebody. I feel like I sound so evil, but imagine if you hated somebody, you could literally infect a flea or like put a flea in their building or house and it would multiply and take over the whole building. I'm not an evil person, so I'd never do it, but I feel like some of you guys will definitely do that. Number seven, kissing bug. What name do you give a bug that leaves bite marks on your face? You got that right, a kissing bug. This, however, is a kiss you don't want to encounter. The bug leaves lethal feces when it bites, which can cause a chronic illness that leads to flu-like symptoms. Feces is poo, isn't it? So basically, the kissing bug is pooing on you. That's actually so disgusting. Like, don't flies vomit on you. These bugs are honestly so disrespectful. Like, come on, have some manners. There's no cure for the illness, and in some cases, it causes an enlarged heart and the thinning of the colon. This bug is attracted to carbon dioxide, which humans breathe out, and that's the reason 
reason most of their bites are around the mouths. Their bites occur mostly at night, and they're said to cause a numbing effect on the area that they bite, meaning you don't feel it when you're being bitten. While bug spray works perfectly as a repellent, they can enter homes using any opening, and more so, they can get into door cracks easily. Forget bug spray, here's a good old-fashioned way. Get a piece of paper, roll it up, and just smack them. I mean, at the end of the day, if they're gonna poo in your face, you might as well smack the life out of them. They deserve it. Number six, brown recluse. This is a very shy spider. That said, it's very deadly and has the power to melt human flesh. Of course it does. Spiders are just evil. I love how I'm throwing shade towards the spider whenever I used to have a pet one. I don't know why I had a pet tarantula and my auntie gave it to me and we never wanted it. Spiders are just like so scary. Like they're so fast and they've got like loads of legs. They're literally creatures you would find in hell. Its venom is so potent it can break down skin, fat and blood cells, a process called necrosis. This is however in very rare cases. People who are bitten by the spider experience minor discomfort, swelling and redness. The symptoms clear within three days without any medical interventions. They can also render severe pain, ulcers, chills and nausea as well as joint pains and seizures. Luckily they are shy and don't come out in openly crowded spaces. They like attics and garages. I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't know what I'm more scared of. The actual spider or what it can do. Spiders just freak me out so that's a no for me. I don't think I could ever get close to one of them things. Even whenever I see a tiny spider I always think it's the most venomous thing in the world. Number five, Tetsi fly. One bite from this fly is enough to bring on lethal sleep. It has a saw-like mouth and tears and rips the skin while sucking blood. As if that wasn't bad enough, it also transmits serious tropical diseases. When it bites its victims, symptoms such as fever, aching and headache are common. Them things are so evil, aren't they? Like imagine they land on you and like infect you and kill you. What did you do to the poor thing? The scary thing is that the majority of us have probably came across a really toxic bug before, but you would never know because you literally don't see them. As time goes by, the illness becomes worse. A feeling of tiredness is the most common symptom, which is why it's called sleeping sickness. The disease affects the brain and can cause a personality change, confusion, and poor coordination. Medical treatments are available, but can be dangerous and even toxic. So either way, if you get bitten by one of them flies, you're dead. Imagine you get bitten by a fly and then it changes your personality. I'm not gonna lie, there are some people who've got awful personalities, so I wouldn't mind if they got bit by one. Number four, bot flies. These flies will make you cry. They don't necessarily live such a long life, and that said, they have the most peculiar habits. First off, they mate, then hatch the eggs, and then stash them into the bodies of insects such as ticks and mosquitoes. When the eggs are left out, they easily burrow into our skin and feed off the skin until they're all grown up and fly away and repeat the process all over again. I don't know if I'm correct with this, but I swear I've seen videos on YouTube of people getting bot fly removal. I've seen a lot of them in monkeys and animals, but I've also seen a few in humans. I'm not gonna lie, they are low-key kind of satisfying. I just find it so cool how they literally find it and then yank it out of the skin. It's a bit gruesome, but I love it. The larvae of the eggs cause holes to open up on the skin of victims, making them vulnerable to bacteria and diseases which can easily enter through the wounds. There are a few ways to treat someone who's been affected by bot flies. The eggs can be removed by tweezers. Doctors also prescribe some antibiotics or even bacon, which is less painful than tweezers. I want to get infected by one so it means I could pull it out. I love how I'm saying that, but I literally regret it the minute I get infected. I just think it's so satisfying whenever they pull the little grubs out of your skin. Number three, killer bees. This is what you get when you crossbreed a European honeybee with an African bee, a dangerous kind of bee that's super aggressive and will sting human beings to death. Up to a thousand people have been killed by these bees. Children and the elderly are most at risk since they're not able to run away from an attack by the killer bees who will chase their victims up to a quarter mile. So you're telling me these bees will literally chase you to kill you? That is so terrifying. Like, I can imagine that. Like, bees are quick. They literally have wings that can fly. I want to know who created one. Somebody has kidnapped two different bees from different parts of the world and bred them. And now they've made a literal killing bee. I'm telling you, there's evil people in the world and we need to lock them up. The venom is not necessarily stronger. It's just that stings from multiple bees mean more dosage of the venom, making it deadly. They were the result of a failed scientific experiment in America's green forest that's now under threat, where the imported killer bees are causing death and destruction among birds, butterflies, as well as bats in the rainforest. I don't know if I heard that right, but if I am correct, I think they said this was made by Americans. So you're telling me Americans literally kidnapped bees, made a killer bee, and they're now out of control. I'm telling you, America's a scary country to do weird things over there. Number two, mosquitoes. They kill millions of people each year. Once upon a time, it was the deadliest creature on the planet. Wait, mosquitoes kill millions of people a year? I think like three million people died due to COVID. I knew the mosquitoes were a problem and that you could die from them, but I didn't realize millions of people died a year. Please tell me that's incorrect because that's actually gonna freak me out. It's not the bite itself that causes the death, it's the disease 
diseases transmitted by these bloodsuckers when they sink their teeth into human flesh. It's only the female mosquitoes that bite because they rely on the protein in the blood to feed their eggs. They use an incredible six needles to pierce into the skin. They transmit a host of deadly diseases, the most prominent one being malaria. Oh, so people die from malaria, not that actual mosquito. Okay, that makes me feel a bit better, but I'm also still kind of scared. I'm telling you, all of these bugs are so rude. They literally jump on people, inject them, and then kill them. These bugs need to be taken out. Somebody zap them. These diseases destroy the red blood cells, leaving the victims suffering from fever, headaches, body aches, muscle aches, vomiting, and diarrhea. Though this is common in some parts of the world, there's a preventative medication that's quite effective. Zika virus, which is also caused by mosquitoes, made headlines recently recently after a spike in cases, since it leads to serious birth defects, most common of which results in an abnormally small head. So basically, mosquitoes can give you malaria, which you can die from, and then different types of mosquitoes can give you Zara virus, which basically mess up your baby. Yeah, these insects are not nice, are they? They're horrible. Number one, the house centipede. This one has many tiny legs, unlike its competition. Its speed is astounding, and it uses the multiple legs to lasso the prey, such as flies, bedbugs, and wasps. It's like spiders, it freaks me out. They're so terrifying. They're literally so tiny, but they're so fast, and they've got like 50 billion legs. That's literally a walking nightmare to me. It injects venom to subdue the tasty treats. Centipedes can live a fairly long life compared to other insects, about four or five years, meaning they have time to perfect their hunting skills. Their bites cause discomfort to humans as well as redness and swelling. I don't care, they still freak me out, like they're literally terrifying. Anyways, guys, they were the most dangerous bugs in the world. I've always had a fear of bugs, and now that fear has multiplied by a hundred. I hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash the subscribe button and yes i will see you all in my next video